Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome and thank you so very much for joining me. I always appreciate you stopping by whether you're brand new or you've been with me since the beginning. Earlier in December, I showed you a video where I made 25 cards with this paper pad and I'll link to it. And it was sort of a speed set of cards that I was trying to make. And I had checked this off my list, thought it was done, and was going through my stacks of projects because I keep my boxes in order and found this partial pad. So my rule now is once I start it, I don't put it back in the cupboard. I just had it in the lineup of projects and stumbled across it. So I wrapped it up today and I made two, four, six, seven cards. I just wanna show them to you and also show you the papers I didn't use. And I put scraps on the inside of all of them, but I'm not gonna mess around with showing you that. You've seen it before. These are my scrap cards that I love to make where I just take the stuff and lay it out. Here's another one. It was like an L shape, but I sort of covered it up. And I chose these sentiments purely based on size. They were, this one's a little crooked. They were smaller and my biggest scraps at this point were about two inches wide, I think. Like this is two pieces of paper and I laid this down on black. So I had two strips and then I filled it in. This is two strips that I put washi tape together and just trying to make whole cards out of them. So I chose my sentiments purely based on what could I die cut out of this size piece of paper. So I have miss you, joy, Thanks and good luck. Scraps, just a, a mess of scraps. And that's what I wanted to get done. Then I'm showing you this because what always happens to me is I'm messy. So there were a, cute, a few really cute pieces of paper that I would have put on the inside of a card had they not been misplaced. But I got down to where I had these four and thought, no, I'm done. I'm not making another card. These are solids. So what I'm gonna do with these is I'm going to set these aside. I might use these on die cutting on another pad or something else. At some point, these will probably get used or they, are, they have some interesting texture, this basic gray brand does. So I might just use them in something else. I'm gonna toss all of these into the scraps bag that I have for either neighbors or kids or whoever. These were papers that just didn't really speak to me in the collection. I thought it was the first set of cards I made for my mom and I thought, oh, well, I don't think she'll like this one. Well, I don't like this one. So I'm, I'm at a point where if I'm not enjoying a piece of paper, I don't need to work it into my cards. I'm not going to enjoy sending you that card if it has too much of this. Now, if I used, there were some cards I made that had some of this and I used other gorgeous papers and so, it worked itself out. But when you get down to this is all you have, and that's what happens sometimes at the end when you go to make scrap cards. If you didn't like the papers and you make a card just with these, you're probably not gonna like the, the card. So maybe don't make it. If it's your only paper pad in your craft room and you're trying to entertain yourself, make that card, honey. I'm gonna take all of these, I think, just the way they are, and dump them in the bin. And these two I'm gonna save. And bin, I don't mean trash. It's just, it's one of my go away piles. Just a quick video, wanted to show that to you. And I will link in the description down below if you wanna see the first 25 that I made with that and you missed that video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing. Bye-bye.